there we go all right good morning guys welcome to the pre-market show i hope everyone's having an amazing morning i hope you had a great day uh yesterday good morning norm how are you today brother hey good morning buddy i'm doing all right happy friday hope you're everybody out there is doing well hopefully you as well carlos oh yeah man you know we're just talking my son is uh going through some stuff with some fever so hopefully he's uh he'll be uh under on, on the inside of that um all right guys uh let's get to it happy friday uh let's see what we had yesterday because man it was a lot of fun actually a lot of fun right off in the pre-market really you know our pre-markets uh action which is not good for me and norm because we're not able to really focus in on what's happening take some opportunities but man you guys are having a lot of fun in the pre-markets a lot of stuff moving well uh in the last couple of days a pre-market looking very very active we had american airlines on our list let's get to the action here over um yeah well the first one start talking about pre-market action look at american airlines guys yeah. I mean, yesterday just insane norm did you take any pre-market action yesterday Mm, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I, I, I did. I had kind of a rough day, man. And and I was talking to Andrew yesterday. He doesn't trade uh, outside of market hours. And I'll tell you, this week at least, um, it's been easier to trade outside of market hours than it has during market hours. It's been yeah. choppy, at least for me, during market mm -hmm. hours. I kind of just chopped around, was a little bit red. The end of the day, Sitting here mm -hmm, doing mm -hmm. some work. I've been Zynga on, you know, our, our Benzinga squawk in the chat room that we have. Yeah. And yeah. I, I heard Invax. Uh, yeah. And uh, let me see here. Invax. And, here. Oh, no, not, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I, these vaccine ones are driving me nuts, man. Which one was <laughs> it? It's not Invax. It, it's, uh, no, it is Invax. Anyway, I caught it from about low 140s and got 15 buck move out of it right there on that pop. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I didn't finish trading until the day was over. I kind of wow. already written it off as a so-so day. And then that, mm -hmm. this that made my day. So, yeah, yeah yep. exactly. And, and a lot of these stocks, especially these uh, Wall Street bets plays, that they have uh, they died down a little bit. And as soon as mm -hmm. the market closed, they crank back up again. They're waiting for the market to close halts to go away um <laughs> and and trade these things unbelievable so, anyway. yes yes it, that is that is uh insane it really is uh, i'm with you too man the market oh, market has been uh not the easiest as far as a couple of stuff here but pre-market we've been seeing some great stuff american airlines was one of the few that even after hours you did get a little bit of a continuation here it took a while to get going it actually took about 30 minutes to drop this great level guys look at this 20 48 that we had here how clean is that right you saw resistance on the way up you saw support on the way down could not break it uh, down here that you can see how beautiful eventually breaks down nicely so you get a little continuation but just look compared to the pre-market action you know the intraday looks choppy um amc same situation guys beautiful breakdown from the vweb all in the pre-market uh you did get a uh, somewhat of relief here push up going back up to the vweb but again this thing was just so weak slams right back down again guys but again looking if you, if you look at this right if you look at your left hand side you would think this is the market open and this is the after hours or, or pre-market you know with the way how clean this looks so it's just it's been interesting but again amc great pre-market action bb also has been good pre-market action this one did give us a little bit of continuation towards the bottom side here again very similar to amd giving a little bit of relief here from being down and then by slamming right back down towards the low of the day and i'd love the pre-market excuse me and then some so again pretty nice there we did have some levels on this one 1607 and 1413 as well uh, here's Nokia. Nokia didn't, again, it's just very difficult to trade this one. Uh, it did give you a nice drop as well here. But again, I, I find it difficult to read the price action on this lower price stock. But also beautiful pre-market action. Look at this double uh, top here. Then the insane drop we saw yesterday. Uh, uh, Apple. Apple was pure chop, guys. I don't know if you guys saw Apple. Um, but pure chop at the beginning. Very difficult to trade here. So if you're getting stopped out, you know, two, three times, you know, just avoid trading that stock. Give it a little room. Let it break out of the, it, its range, right? Um, the, the, the stock clearly build a range for the first what 15 minutes maybe even an hour um let it break out of that range right put those levels in here you obviously see a level there there's one right here you already have 138 uh, 72 you know let it break out maybe you get caught on a fake out here you stop out wait for the next setup and then here you finally get rewarded and this could happen both ways this can happen towards the bottom and the top right it doesn't have to be a long every time uh, it can also happen towards the top but if you just see that it just kind of keeps going in this area and you know, just don't touch it you know it, it'll be very difficult to get something out of it uh, amd actually was pretty 
pretty good, guys. Did get a drop here. Over here, very rough pullback, um, but it did slam back down and give you a nice continuation after that. So again, but still not clean, clean, clean as we're sometimes seeing from the market. So um, that is what we had yesterday. POTR was not great at the open. This sell down nicely, but uh, again, that we had pretty much a lot of stuff going on there. INO, Fubo, uh, all of these were just not really great. Tesla was okay. Um, again, not at the open, but look at this here. They give you a nice pop. So that's what we had on our watch list. Uh, let's, uh, Norm, anything exciting as we close out this uh, week? Yeah, lots of exciting stuff. It's been a crazy week, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, we we spoke yesterday morning about that the market's been relatively quiet overall, except for these uh, these meme stocks, we'll call it. Uh, GameStop, Express, AMC, BBBY, BB, all these. Um, and they've been nuts. And, you know, yesterday the big news was that the brokerages stopped trading, or at least some of them stopped trading on uh, on these stocks and why they did that and was it to help their their uh, hedge hedge fund bros or whatever. Um, and, and there were interviews last night on TV about it and, Senators from, you know, politicians from different sides of the aisles agreeing. It, it's absolutely amazing. Haven't seen that in years, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's been nuts. And then I guess back this morning, they're, they're like, for instance, Robin, Robin Hood's letting them uh, buy. They were only allowed to liquidate positions. They couldn't buy positions, uh, which is uh, ridiculous. But, um uh, apparently they are this morning and I haven't gotten too deep into it, but from my understanding, it might be in limited amounts or something of that sort. So got that going on today. Uh, it's pushing those, those names higher overall this morning. There are a lot of what's on the top of our gappers list. Just had an economic data drop at eight 30, right before we came on. Um, it's had the effect of popping the market up a little bit, even though we're still down uh, four tenths of a percent on the spy half a percent on the queues. Uh, later today, we've got Chicago PMI 945, consider, uh, ew, excuse me, consumer sentiment, and uh, pending home sales at 10, and then a Fed speaker right at the close of the market. But it, that shouldn't have an effect because it'll be after the, after the close. All right, excellent. So a lot going on, guys, as you just heard. Mike. Oh, no, my mic is good. So a lot going on there, as you just heard. Um, let's get to our watch list this morning. Again, as usual, on both sides of the fence here, we have a lot of tickers in here. Uh, if you look at our gapping up list, it is uh, huge. If you look at our gapping down list, we also have quite a bit. Actually, a lot less, not as much, um, but still a lot uh, to go through today. So uh, let's get started. Let's remove our rows from yesterday. We'll do new rows here and build our watch list for this uh really cold friday over in the northeast man it is 16 degrees out here um here is gamestop gamestop obviously on our list again not one that we will be trading i will i won't, won't be trading this one but it's fun to watch though i gotta say it's fun to watch it's fun to keep up with um <clears throat> some of the stuff that's happening there and we, we do have a little bit of time norm we we're talking about how many people that do not trade that are not in the markets are hearing about gamestop are hearing about you know uh what's the other one uh bb and then, this is another big one too that's going on i said amc amc and they're actually text texting us saying hey i, I want to get in on this what's happening and i'm showing them well amc is already yeah. you know back down like by the time you're hearing about this the the smart money is over you know and it's scary because if you have people that are hearing about this and don't know what's going on and they start getting into these trades you know that, that those are the people that really get hurt that you know that's are going that's the social media get, yeah yeah that's yeah. the people that'll get really smoked right they hear right. it they see it on the news they see that you know somebody's made 22 million dollars in gme and uh and they want a piece of the action they hop in having no idea what's going on and i guess they don't realize that they bought you know leaps two and a half years ago that that happened to pan out this month so it yeah. you know uh, yeah it's uh it's scary stuff for that it, it sure is so GameStop is on that list, guys. We have it over here on our riskier pile. Uh, cost, cost has been, I mean, it continues to be very active. Again, very difficult to trade. Uh, right now, the volume is a lot less than what we've seen for both pre-market actions uh, yesterday and the day before. Um, only 698. We've seen this in the in the millions, up 67% still. Um, I don't know what today's going to look like. We'll add it on here. We'll come back to it. But usually I'll, the third I'll tell day. You, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll throw this out on costs. I, I traded costs a uh, tiny, tiny share amounts uh, the first day it was moving. This one to me, um, 
screams that this is by far the most dangerous of this group because it's got a 1.4 million share float uh and the short float was a lot higher i i maybe short floats have updated and it's lower uh, I, I that data might have come in this morning for the mm -hmm. last for the last period i thought it had yeah. already come out or maybe it was just sometime this week and i haven't looked since but it had a high short float uh and it's a very very small uh very small float yeah. well, and now it's at 80 bucks when i was trading it it was ten dollars <laughs> Yeah, it trades you know, a lot so different I up take here. A, take a few hundred shares. If I if I get smoked on it, I'm not gonna you know it's not gonna kill me. But um, it, it, I was looking earlier; it was having a spread of four or five dollars. Um, mm -hmm. And just watch mm -hmm. out; that thing just has bells going off all over the place. Yeah, yeah. So again, very very careful with this, guys. We're putting it on here. These two are really entertainment purposes, man. That's what it is because you should not. Not saying I'm not tell you, telling you what to do. You do what you want, but you should be very, very careful with these two. Uh, uh, here's Envax this morning. This one is looking a little active today. They're up to 63%, uh, 2.2 million uh, on Norm. So what was the news yesterday? I, I know you were somewhat uh, touching with this one uh, uh, after hours. This one was on, um, let me, I'm sorry. There's been a whole lot of, so it was on, uh, it's efficacy against the new variants. Uh, the vaccine it has seemed to be uh, pretty pretty good against the new COVID variants was the news that dropped yesterday on some studies. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of virus uh, COVID vaccine news and such this morning. So we've got a number of these to go through. So that's the okay. bottom line there, though. All right, we'll, we'll add this on here, guys. For now, uh, again, volume is looking really good. Again, this is a tough one to trade, though. You have to be, you have to have experience yeah. on this one, guys. This is not, you know, your regular AMD type stock. This thing is trading at two hundred something. The spread is actually not bad, man. Sixty cents for the way it's moving, uh, not bad pre market. Let's see if it gets better. But either way, we we seen this stock before. It is a very very difficult stock to intraday trade. So. Uh, it makes that. huge moves. Uh, yeah. it, it, yeah. it can in seconds move a dollar to three dollars for or against you. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have it's to be very careful and watch your side with that, uh, if you decide to trade hard. Exactly right. Number of shares is going to be very important. AMC is here, guys. We'll add that onto the list. I think this is going to be active today. Uh, already 37 million shares traded, um, up 52% after some wild mm -hmm. swings here on the daily. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on that one. Here's EXPR. Uh, what's happening here? EXPR. Um, I did. I did not watch this one yesterday. Today, five million, forty-two percent up this morning. Very choppy pre-market action. What it seems like. Uh, yesterday, you did get a huge drop. It looks like again, I did not keep uh, an eye on that one. We'll keep. Uh, we'll put it on here today. Also, not a low flow stock, but I am adding it to our riskier pile here because it is lower price, and you got to be careful with that one. Uh, mRNA this morning. What do we have? mRNA. Wow, big moves. mRNA today. Uh, holy cow, man, twenty-four percent. This is insane. Five million shares traded so far. Uh, so yeah, this is very, very active. Another one that's you know a little bit difficult to trade. We are seeing a 40 cents, 70 cents spread as well on this one. That's got a little better, 40 cents there. So let's see if that is gonna be tradable today. Again, another one that's a little bit difficult to trade when it was a lower price. Usually when stocks start moving this much and this high at uh, this price, you know, 200 or so, they tend to be a little bit more difficult, but we'll see. Looking very active this morning. Here is BB. BT, BT, I almost said BBT, BT, BT. This one here is, um, we're up 25% as well. Yeah, so let me, I'm going to, got yeah. Bitcoin flying, so I'll knock a few of these out with oh, that news. Okay. Uh, BT, BT, Sarah mm -hmm. Riot, uh, mm -hmm. and, and a few others. Uh, part of that, I think, I don't, I haven't looked at Bitcoin in the last a little bit, but I think it was up like five grand this morning. And Elon Musk put in his Twitter uh, profile, hashtag bitcoin so mm, mm. uh that's okay. popped bitcoin and there therefore these that move in sympathy with it um and as for you brought you already brought up uh, moderna and uh, another piece of the vaccine news that just came out about 45 minutes ago was that mm -hmm. the j and j vaccine uh the efficacy on it is not quite as high not nearly as high as the uh moderna and the pfizer bio uh, mm. biontech vaccines that are out um, right, right. It's in the low low 70s versus mid 90s percentage wise efficacy. Um, so that is what's caused J and J to go down a little bit. We'll see that in a minute, um, mm -hmm. and some of these others 
others to pop so all right, so so got some good stuff there. So mRNA definitely on deck here. Pfizer, I'm going to put us a pass over here. Um, I saw they're moving nicely today. You can see the action coming in. Um, and then we talked about Maris. So I, I like out of all of these, I think Maris is the one that I really like the way it moves, the way it trades. Today they're up nicely based on Bitcoin being up as well. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. But you have other ones like you mentioned. You have Riot. You have BT, BT on there. Uh, Riot seems to be good as well. Riot does look good. Uh, but Mary's the one I, I like, so I'm going to keep that one on there. All right, I'm going to stop here on what's gapping up. Let's see what's gapping down today. Uh, we talked about J&J. &J. I'm going to put that one on here. The reason it's going on as a possible is because, again, it's a, it's a bit difficult to trade. The stock is not as easy uh, for intraday play, so we'll put it as a possible for now. <clears throat> Excuse me, GBR. Uh, what's happening here? Now, this one had a big day yesterday. It's down 28% today. Pre-market action is not looking good at all. Uh, what is the float on this? 2 million shares float. So we'll skip on it. Pre-market action is not great right now. Uh, let's see what it did yesterday just to see what the potential can be on this. Uh, we went from $2 all the way at the high of 31 looks like. Uh, so yeah, just coming in out of nowhere. Didn't really uh, have any pre-market action. So I'm not sure what the news is on this one. But again, today on a second day is a little bit more riskier to trade. Uh, we'll put it. Uh, I'm not going to add this one actually. It doesn't have the great volume right now. If it gets better, let us know. J A N. Uh, this one was active yesterday. We did not keep it on deck. I've not seen a great pre market action. We do not have shares for sure. This thing looks like on the daily, like it wants to just come back down here. But uh, again, anything's possible. It can bounce from here. But this pre market action is horrible today. So we'll skip on that one. Uh, a Q M S. Uh, horrible pre market action. This has been on our list quite a bit. Almost every day we're seeing this on the gap up. Uh, or down list today on the down list this morning uh, but if you look at the intraday trades on this just look how bad this is trading right see that barely any volume down here and look at the candles you're getting this is I can only imagine how bad the price action looks on this so uh, be very very careful if you're going to be trading that one uh, OEG this one very similar as well I'm not seeing a great uh, pre-market action there neither skip on that one J and J we do have guys on our down list of good volume today down four percent uh dct uh horrible pre-market action not great uh eh also not looking good very light on the volume day looks interesting but again aside from that nothing else looks good and also a low flow stock sitting at 9.5 so not great cciv uh this one i know a lot of people like this one, but i i, I well, not possible we'll come back to it because i know somebody's gonna throw it out there and i'm gonna have to look at it again so we'll, we'll throw it on here cciv <clears throat> all right that is what we have norm what do you like this morning uh, I've got two. Uh, one is on the gapping up list. You just didn't get all the way down to it. That's RKT, Rocket Mortgage. It is mm -hmm. up, uh, popped up this morning a little bit earlier. Uh, I missed an entry on it, regrettably. I almost mm -hmm. did, but we were we were getting busy. I, I thought about taking it around twenty three fifty and uh, missed that. It would have been would have been a good day. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then SIEB, low float. This one freaks me out a little bit, so I want to I wanna preface with that. Uh, no. This morning it was up something like 450%. This one, uh, I, I, I'll see how it goes. I will be very uh, Wait, patient if I again? were to decide. SIEB. Oh, SIEB. Okay, I'll put it backwards. Here it is. This one here. There you oh, go. wow. This one was up something like 500% this morning. It closed yesterday at 371. Somebody asked why it wasn't on our scanners. If something closes uh, under $5 the day before, it will not show up on our scanners. We have that set yeah. as a filter yeah. to get penny stocks out of the system. This thing popped up massively this morning, um, and there's no news on it. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. We are up 288% on this, and man, this is, uh, and has not been doing anything before, uh, just this morning. So very interesting. Um, yeah, we'll keep, keep an eye on this one, guys. The pre-market action looks amazing, guys. What's the float on this, you say? You said it's a lower flow stock. What is it? It's 7.7. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so again, be very, very careful. Uh, but this pre-market action, very, very, very active. So this is why when we look at other stocks, that are, uh, their flow is like nine or so, or we're seven, but they look horrible. You know, this is why we don't keep it on there. This one, even if their percentage is up like 50, 70, they have to have this great pre-market action is what you're seeing here with this one. Um, all right, let's go over to our chat room today. Uh, what do we have, guys? Uh, what do you guys like this morning so far? 
So let's go up here. All right, Edwin is giving us something besides a fuel cell and uh, we forgot that one that he always gives us. He's giving us Neo today, so we definitely got to check what's happening. Uh, Neo this morning daily is a little bit, a uh, little bit of uh, consolidation happening here. Looks interesting though for a possible breakout. I like when things break out of the daily here. Clearly, this 60, uh, 60 level here has been an area of a lot of resistance on Neo. I look, I do like this one. Mm -hmm. Put Neo on there. Uh, it is one point three nice right upgrade. now. Oh, he did. Oh, and a catalyst behind yeah. it. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. So today, guys, the people that love Neo, today Neo is in play. You can add to Neo to your list today. Um, uh, let's go on down here. Uh, American Airlines. No, hold on, skipped a few people. Okay, PLTR. We had that one yesterday on our secondary list. This morning, PLTR. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, you know, it, active pre market. I want to say a possible, man, this stock has been, it's been so so random at times mrna we do have definitely in play today guys looking really good american airlines possible continuation today they have great volume but they're pre-market nothing like it was yesterday so i'm concerned it might be choppy today that's only going to get them a spot on our secondary list there uh let's look at bb has been uh another good one for us this week as well uh today they have volume up 17 percent uh yeah i think it's I think it's worth taking a look at bb today as well at least another a second look at it uh, later down the line all right, American Airlines is good. We have that one, SRNE, SRNE. Um, this one here, nice. This is looking really, really good. Now, for me personally, I have a position in this in my other swing account, so I won't tra intraday trade this one. Um, I don't think it's a great intraday uh, trade stock, but it is high flying the last couple yeah. of days here. So, um, uh, yeah, put it on your list, guys. Up 13%, five, oh, 1.5 million. Again, the intraday trades on this are not great. I know that because I've been looking at it for, uh, for uh, my swing account. Um, so just keep that in mind on this one. But the last couple of days, really, really nice there. Uh, all right, let's go on down here. BB, we looked at I know, I know. Let's see what I know has going on there. Uh, I know, I know, a possible breakout. Yeah, pre market's just starting to get going though. Doesn't look great. I uh, had a couple of crazy days here. Let's see how that traded actually the day yesterday, the day before. Um, how did that look? I was pretty clean actually this drop here and i know yesterday that was real real nice actually cleaner than some of the stuff that we had on our list let's see the day before um it did give you a pop there yeah that looked good too um yeah so it's been trading very nice actually uh man we have a lot on this list let's get rid of some stuff that's not looking great you know what uh, expr i'm going to get rid of that one s-i-e-b that's the one that's hot today uh, for the low flow team cost is uh you know what? I let's just keep it on there for team purposes. Let's make some rows down here, and we'll add I know as a possible. We'll come back and look at that one. Uh, Riot, uh, yeah, we, I looked at Riot. Riot looks good as well. Mara is what I have here for me personally for the Bitcoin type play. Uh, so I have Mara there. I think this one moves a little bit cleaner. Um, you could keep whatever one you like as far as Bitcoin goes. Um, going down, I know is good. Neo we have on deck as well. Neo is actually in play today. GameStop, our entertainment ticker is here today also. Let's see if we can get back to the 500. Um, CCL, what is CCL up to this morning? Uh, CCL, uh, no, not clean, guys. The pre market is really all over the place. Their dailies all over the place. They haven't been really trading well, so I'm, I'm not going to add this one today. Uh, this hasn't look... been in play for a long time. Yeah, it, it hasn't. Um, the one time that it did something was a couple of days ago, <clears throat> and again, probably because of the overall market. Uh, but aside from that, it hasn't really done anything. Uh, Fubo, Fubo, uh, is that where we were? Yeah, Fubo uh here guys we're getting a nice pop on fubo after a drop yesterday this could be interesting let's see here we're gonna fine tune this list there's a lot there that um that we can remove obviously uh dkng what is that up to today dkng uh no 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 volume this morning only 134 not really doing a whole lot so that's not good this morning uh bbby is another one that has been very active the last couple of days this could be interesting today starting to get going now um and again just look at the wild uh pre um daily action on this calendar here i mean on this chart here just look at the way this thing has been moving um so yeah this has potential guys i'm gonna put it as a possible because this one will be a nice one to see on our scanners um see if it's gonna take off today and run up uh, but again, also, uh, this is not the regular BBBY you were trading a month ago. Got to be very careful on this one, guys. This is not the one that moves, you know, 50 cents at a time. This thing has been cranking, so very, very careful. Um, okay, let's, uh, we will stop here. I want to take a few from our YouTube 
chat room microsoft let's take a look at that uh what is that up to i know that's been active fairly active compared to how they usually trade uh, on the daily here you can see the breakout nicely out of this 226 78 area over to 230 and then now hitting as high as a 242 so uh pretty good here this is a good one today guys if you like microsoft right if you like the way this one trades you can watch it um i feel that is you know it's is a unique not a unique stock to trade but it's a little bit different than what we have on deck here that is very exciting with a lot of volume so um maybe later down the day we could look at this and see if it's trending that would be nice um nokia you know what nokia was great yesterday i'm not sure what it's doing today uh, i i'm not i'm not sure you're getting volume I, i'm not just don't know if it's going to trade well after such a big move here I, you know? I, I know this is this is one of the companies that's being you know uh part of the meme group I, I don't yeah, know what yeah. the hell they're going to it, is it I don't know uh, call me a boomer I I, I don't care I, I don't quite understand this one the float is massive um, the yeah. ATR is tiny uh, it, it's got none of the characteristics of what caused game it's got a 5.3 billion share float I know um, I guys. think what's game around 100 million so you know 50 times plus bigger. It's yeah, got yeah. no shorts. It's 1% short interest. You're not going to squeeze that. And it doesn't move. I, it's bizarre to me why this one showed up. But um, yeah, yeah it doesn't doesn't make sense but um yeah so i won't keep it on here guys uh i think we have a lot that we can work with here uh plTR we did look at plTR did we keep it on here no a few people throwing plTR back out let's take a look see if it looks better now plTR uh let's take a look here yeah no I, I don't know plTR could be a hit or miss guys it hasn't been all that great um a few times we had a couple of pops so i'm gonna keep it off this list today let's fine tune this one first and we'll see if we have a spot for plTR uh facebook for a swing okay but for intraday no face maybe a swing yeah um ciib ciEB excuse me we do have that one on there up to 280 percent 8.4 so that's on there so that's good and bb we do have uh, last one here oh O-T-P-T-T, O-P-T-T, uh, no guys, not looking good, Let's just look at the way this is trading here in the pre-market, the daily is also not great, uh, so this is something that we will not be adding to our, our list the way it looks there, uh, all right, let's go over to announcements guys, we'll come back, fine tune this list, and uh, build our watch list here. All right, guys, Amon's uh, breakout strategy success webinar should be posted, you can find that uh, with all the other success webinar recordings. Next week, Thor, Thir uh, excuse me, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, we'll be talking about how he uses pivots and market auction theory in his trading. Uh, Dr. Katz Town Hall should be posted as well. And then next Wednesday, 5 p.m. special time because of her time zone, Kreta will be talking about uh, putting the pieces of mental edge together. Guys, if you want to participate in member trade of the day and trade of the week, uh, you can take a screenshot of your best trade of the day. Mark it up, should have entries, exits, and then provide any commentary you can. Uh, post it on Twitter, tag at bearable traders at Mike BB underscore BBT and at Norm BBT. Use hashtags BBT family, day trading, and stock market. Pick the winner for each day that'll be announced in the closing bell shown on Twitter. And then we will, uh, the team will take all the trades of the day that week. Pick the best one. That will be the trade of the week announced Monday afternoon in the closing bell show on Twitter as well. All right. If you're looking to try out the chat room and uh, you can do so at a discount, use the pr promo code PREMARKET24. That'll get you a discount off the intro membership, which is one week, seven calendar days, five trading days. Includes Carlos's onboarding class he does every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern live. Does not auto-renew or turn into any other kind of discount. Also, if you're looking to become an elite member, you can get 40% off the annual elite uh, with the promo code New Year 40. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Norm. appreciate that. All right. Let's get into building our watch list here. Uh, let's start with uh, with the top. Actually, let's look at our secondary. Remove some of the stuff that does not look great here. Uh, starting with Neo. Um, Neo. Neo's okay. I think we keep this one on here. They have a catalyst. They also have a nice uh, uh, setup here on the daily as well for a possible breakout. We'll love to see that happen uh, uh, on their uh, on their stock today. Let's take a look at uh, PFE. PFE here. 
um, could be decent. I do like the volume there. Let's keep that one on there. JNJ &J is good. CCIV, I'm going to remove. Looks a little bit choppy here, guys, uh, compared to everything else we have. So let's get rid of that one. Um, PLTR. PLTR. I like this one up for a possible. Let's see that. Let's see that through. American Airlines. I'm not sure about American Airlines, guys. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to be in play today. I mean, it's got great volume. Um, 10, you know, almost 10 million shares. Exactly 10 million shares. Uh, I know. I'm going to remove I know, guys. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, Fubo. Fubo's breaking out here, guys. Look at the, the bounce over the last couple of minutes. So this is good. We'll keep that one on there. Uh, BBBY also looking good as well. So we got a good possible list. Let's take a look at our main list today. Uh, we have NVAX. Which for me personally, I might move NVAX down because I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be a difficult stock to trade. So for my personal trading, this one's going to come down, uh, and I'm going to add something else at the top. So NVAX is good. We'll move it down here. Uh, AMC looking good today this morning, guys. Very active. MRNA looking very nice. We'll do levels for that as well. Mara is the Bitcoin play. My Bitcoin play for today will be on Mara. But you know, you got Riot and everything else also very active this morning. Uh, do we have no we don't have shares for sure we never do on this stuff um rkt here this is very active this is good as well and uh bb also uh bb is okay bb is okay all right let's uh take a look at again our secondary list nvax is here uh neo is here pfe i want to move one up if we can i think fubo I think Fubo is the one coming up. Fubo looks very, very good. So let's put Fubo on our main list. So just kind of shuffling things around a little bit. Uh, it's a lot to watch today. So you got to be really picky. So you don't end up with a list of like 10 tickers, right? You can't watch that many stocks all at once and really be focused. Um, all right, let's start doing some levels. Let's start with AMC. High of our pre-market at the moment, we're sitting at a uh, 1538 towards the bottom. The low of the pre-market, we're sitting at 811.75. Uh, so we'll put those two levels on there, and then around that, you have your highs and lows. If you look at the daily, uh, pretty much supporting you. So you do not need to add anything more here, guys. Maybe where the price action is now, like right in this area, uh, around 1350. Uh, that could be a good minor support to resistance. You see there's a lot of touches in the pre-market already on this stock, right? So uh, if you're getting a move from 1350 to 1420, that's a very, very good move, right? You want to take advantage of that. So I'll put that level on there. That looks good for AMC this morning. And they are looking nice as the volume continues to come in here, kind of come in here on AMC. So that looks good. Um, here is mRNA, uh, also very active, high of the pre-market sitting uh 218.45. Again, on news that Johnson and Johnson's their their vaccine is not as great. Uh, you know, you can find out more details on that online. But again, that is obviously popping them up because that's good news for Moderna here. So uh, 218.49 high of the pre market. The low of the pre market is pretty much stuck between the highs and lows of the last two trading days and the previous day close. So you do not need to mark that down. Uh, I'd mark this one also here where the price action is because you can see how great of support you're getting there now. So you want to put a level there. Uh, below that, you do have the last close recent area of resistance is this one here. Once one uh, seventy eight thirty five. Let's scroll to the left and see if we have anything up. Are we all time high with this? We might be actually, unless we had some crazy spikes uh, before. Uh, I want to go too far back. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see here. I'll go weekly. All right. Let's see uh, if I hit the high right. I went monthly. Uh, well, I'm going monthly, and I do not see uh, anything past this. I'm not concerned with. So at least fifty two week plus on this one i'm not gonna go back that far i thought it was gonna be like something like last year but no this is fine we have some levels here already so again this is gonna be a good level today there's nothing really above that in recent times um so that's mrna let's look at mara mara is the uh bitcoin stuff is popping up today um high of the pre-market for them is 24.93 so we'll throw a level there above that you got a couple of days spiking up here nicely you have uh this one here 26.51 and then you also have this one over here at 28.35. So we'll keep a level on those two there. And then towards the bottom, guys, you do have your highs and lows from the last two trading days, previous day close. And also look at the high from yesterday. Uh, so the high from yesterday is creating your pre-market low today, uh, exactly right on it. Also has a lot of touches here as far as support. Uh, so again, so a good level there. It's going to be at 22.04 is your uh, low for uh, for uh, the pre-market today. Um, all right, so that's Mara. Let's take, take a look at RKT. RKT today, uh, pre-market action really starting to get going here. Um, let's remove some of these older levels that we have, put some new ones in here. High of the pre-market all the way at a 26.50. 
uh, below that you do have the highs from two days ago right on here around 2555 and then towards the bottom guys highs and lows from the last two trading days here at a 23 2250 and also 21 previous day close uh, as well so that's looking good pre-market right now very very active guys this is great great volume uh, so that's nice let's see if we have a level above this 2650 that makes sense um, so scrolling over here to the left look at that 2650 now, uh, just didn't get picked by random here. You can see the area of resistance on the daily. Um, in here, it gets very messy. As you can see, the daily chart gets very messy, but you can uh, pick off a few that are good here. 2908 is a good one. Obviously, this one here, and of course, you got to mark this one here. I don't think it's that type of day today, but who knows? 3440. Um, and then in between here, you, do, you might have like a possible 28. Uh, you got a couple of wicks hitting it there and bouncing off of that. So maybe 2805. Uh, but again, that's not as strong as it's going to be as these other ones where you have a lot of touches. Like this 2908, look how many touches you have here. That's going to be a good one. And obviously this one, we have such a big rejection, right? The 3440 and 3471. Um, all right, zooming back in here. Uh, so RKT looks really good today, guys. Volume is nice. We could play this both ways. We have long and short opportunities on that one with inventory available here is bb let's remove yesterday's levels uh from bb and uh now pre-market uh action looking a uh, very exciting high of the pre-market all the way up here at 1850 uh, but i am going to mark down where the, the price is kind of struggling now because we have a lot of touches there too around 1780 right so 1780 notice even yesterday in the after hours you did get a couple of touches at 1780 uh, right now you're kind of struggling with that 1780 you're kind of winding up towards that price target uh let's see if we're going to break through that and then towards the bottom here uh you do have obviously a lot of touches here as well 1667 your low of your pre-market all the way at 1627 uh but again just look how if, if i were to look at this and put weight on levels uh this level 1667 is going to have a lot more weight than 1630 and the reason for that is because the touches with the volumes that you're getting there uh, again you don't want to completely disregard 1630 but that 1667 is going to be a good one so uh, that's what we have for bb again been a good one for us this week uh here is fubo fubo continues to just uh, crank it up here uh, as far as pre-market lows towards the downside you're bouncing right from the previous day close to the penny uh, right of that 39.85 exactly so you're getting a beautiful bounce there great pre-market action with some volume here uh, towards the bottom i'm just going to add this level in case we do decide to drop although it's not looking like that anytime soon uh 36.50 is a good one right below the previous day close uh then towards the top you have your highs and lows from the last two trading days and i'm going to wait to see what pre-market high we're going to set here on fubo so let's wait for that um and that is our list guys Se let's look at our secondary list one more time and then we will look at our moderators list uh nvax here what do we have our mvax is looking again very active guys just be careful if you're going to trade this the spread has gotten better 22 cents i'm seeing that now i'm seeing uh what is that 30 cents there the nice got tight right there once pennies that's good it's getting a lot better 30 cents there so a lot better for 218 the way this stock trades but just keep in mind if you're going to take a shot at this your number of shares got to be uh got to be in check you cannot be taking this with a full full swing position on that you know be very very careful um here's neo so neo right now um yeah, neo's okay uh, i think neo's okay how many we have one two three four five six we got a full deck up top so we can add neo but neo is good uh pfe is very active but just be careful it's not the best intraday trading stock so is j and j very active this morning but not the best intraday stock but again today could be a difference maker with it with some slightly bad news on their side uh pltr i'm gonna remove pltr i'm gonna remove this one i know somebody else will watch in the chat room <clears throat> if you see something great throw it out uh, american airlines i think i'm gonna remove as well it just looks choppy today i'm not we're, again anything looks choppy compared to how great american airlines was yesterday's pre-market action uh bbby uh breaking out we'll give it a shot and then we have our risky stocks down here guys low flow c-i-e-b that's the low flow of the day be very careful uh cost is nah, i'm gonna remove it's not really doing a whole lot today compared to what it done the last couple of days and we do have GameStop. This is my entertainment stock for the day, so I can, you know, get a little fun out of this Friday. Uh, all right, let's take a look at our moderators list and see what we have going on. Uh, so let's bring this down and let's get our visuals in here. Okay. 
All right, let's bring this over. Hopefully you guys can uh, see this clearly there. Uh, let's start with, uh, oh, ladies. We're, there's, a, there's a monthly uh, Zoom meeting after the market closed today. So if you're a BBT lady, make sure you get in contact with Tiffany there. Um, Thor, uh, watch list. We have NVAX, mRNA, PFE, J&J &J Catalyst, of course, and then NEO upgrades. Uh, secondary list, CAT and HON on earnings. Uh, John is looking at high of the day breakout list, Airbnb, uh, mRNA, SQ. Um, treat me right, SQ. So I guess SQ hasn't been treating you well lately. Uh, Peter, IPOs for today, NLSP, HMPT, and TRIN. Peter is watching his list, MRNA and AMD, of course. Secondary list, GameStop, AMC, uh, CAT, and NVAX this uh, morning. Mike likes Microsoft and MRNA, both looking really good. Microsoft has been very active the last couple of days. So if you like this type of stock, uh, this has been pretty, pretty good to watch today. Uh, I mean, this week. Uh, Eamon is watching uh, EXPR. I believe that is a low flow stock or at least a, a risky stock to be careful. Uh, AMC. Uh, Macy's secondary list BB and Macy's twice uh, and uh, secondary list BB BY. Uh, Tiffany's looking at mRNA and Vax and Fubo as her secondary. Uh, Andrew's looking at American Airlines, Riot and Mara. So a couple of Bitcoin plays here. Uh, GameStop uh, <laughs> long for the fun. Uh, so be careful with that one. And we want to be part of history. <laughs> um, I think Andrew traded uh, GameStop uh, the other day. I think he had a 200 and I think popped. To, and I think Amy was in that trade too. But early on, it, it popped to like 250 or something. Just insane. Um, but again, important thing that they did there, they both took very small number of shares, guys. Because again, you got to be careful. You got to protect your account. Very, very important. Uh, mRNA and NVAX are both on here. Uh, Brian is looking at mRNA, Plug, Pass, and Neo as well. Jar is coming in with his list now. RKT. Uh, Riot, Mara, so a couple of Bitcoin plays. Both of these look very good. I like Mara, but both of them are very active and good pre-market action this morning. Uh, he also likes mRNA, uh, a, a fake play from BYND, which is another one that's been uh, fairly active the last couple of days as well. All right, that is our moderator's lineup, guys. I think that covers our our lineup for today. Let's take a quick recap of what we have. 916. Um, we do have so AMC's on deck, guys. Trading very nice this morning. Good pre-market action so far. Great volume, up 65%. Uh, mRNA. A lot of the team uh, moderators have this one on deck too because again, it's very active, getting a good catalyst this morning, popping up nicely, and the day looks very good also. Uh, Mara again, Bitcoin place that you got Mara, you got Riot, you got BTBT, so you can look at those. Uh, pick the best one you like, and also just keep in mind you can always look at the scanners as well. Uh, RKT here looking good this morning. Nice pop here. BB. Uh, BB starting to get going. Not great, but it's starting to get going nicely. We can break out of this pre-market high. That would be great. And Fubo also. Fubo continues to rip here uh, just nicely. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And that is what we have, guys. Um, okay. Anything else that we might have missed? I think that covers it. Uh, GameStop. GameStop to the moon. What is GameStop doing right now? So GameStop <laughs> looks like it wants to go over to 500. I would not be a uh, surprise. Guys, it is Friday. Have a good one. Norm, before we check out, anything uh, anything on the pipeline that we should discuss or everything is good? I think you're on mute, buddy. No, apologize. Yeah. No, yeah. just I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. I hope your son feeling better by the time we talk Monday. Trade safe, be smart. I, I hope so too. I'm, I'm on a two hour sleep, hence the reason why I'm drinking Red Bull at this time. I do not do that, but the last two days have been. I'm brutal. rubbing off on you. Uh, you, you are. I mean, I, I, like, I like the taste of Red Bull. I really do like the taste of it, which is not good. I, I drink it sometimes just because of the taste, and that's not a good thing because it's horrible yeah. for you. Uh, Andrew screams at me every time I drink this stuff. So, um, Guys, take care. Trace safe. It is Friday. So no, go into this weekend knowing that you follow your rules and you were disciplined. There's nothing worse than being there Saturday morning breakfast and thinking about that not so smart trade that you took right before the market closed trying to make your money back. We all been there. It is horrible. Don't do it. So be disciplined, right? Follow your rules. The market will be open next week. I guarantee it's not going anywhere. So you do not have to be a hero today to make your week. So keep that in mind. So if you're having a rough week, just treat this like any other day. Be smart. And if you're having a great week, be even more patient today. You don't have to, you know, uh, hit it out of the park. So take care, guys. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. And we'll see you on Monday. Take care, everybody. Take care, guys. Trade safe.